Hey guys, so welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's requested video, we're gonna talk about 10 long lasting fragrances from my collection. So if you wanna know the fragrances that wanna hang on to my body and never let it go, then just continue to watch. Guys, before we get started with the video, please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure that red button turns gray. Tap that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Thumbs up the video so I know you love my content. And finally, leave me a comment below so we can get to know each other. Now, let's get started with the video. Okay guys, so let me just let you know about fragrances and why they may perform differently on me than they will on you. I am gonna share with you 10 fragrances in my collection that are long lasting on me, okay? We're gonna talk about these fragrances. However, just know that just because a fragrance is performing well on me, it doesn't mean that fragrance is gonna perform the same way on you. Fragrances are very subjective, we know that. There's so many things that come into play when it comes to fragrances and why they will perform differently on some people. Aside from body chemistry, how you moisturize your skin, if you're exfoliating your skin, you know, things of that nature, that's a given. But also, where was your fragrance purchased? When was your fragrance purchased? How do you store said fragrance after you've purchased it? So if you're storing your fragrances in the bathroom around steam and heat and humidity, that fragrance is not gonna perform the same on you that it performs on me because that fragrance, it's been compromised, okay? You should store your fragrance in a cool, dry, and dark place, not only to extend the longevity of your fragrance, but also to keep that fragrance alive. Keep those alcohol juices flowing. Just keep those chemicals in that fragrance how they should be for that time so that way it can perform the way that it should perform on you if you're keeping it in the bathroom around steam and humidity it's being compromised and that fragrance is not going to perform how it should also is your fragrance in direct sunlight is it in beaming bright <laughs> lights all the time that's not good either because that is also compromising the juices in that bottle and your fragrance is not going to perform the same on you another thing did you purchase that fragrance from someone did that person have the cap on the fragrance all the time was oxygen able to get into the fragrance and start to make it oxidize and just not perform right how it should be performing on you so there's so many factors in why fragrances will perform differently on everyone so a b-small long-lasting fragrance on me may not be that way on someone that possibly stores their fragrances in a bathroom all the time around heat and humidity or sunlight yada yada all of the things okay and also make sure you're exfoliating your skin make sure you're moisturizing your skin guys have you ever gotten a facial or even just doing your facial at home for yourself when you scrub your face and then you like rinse it off or if you put a mask on whatever if you're exfoliating your face once you put that moisture onto your skin do you notice that it latches onto your skin like all of a sudden you look just more shiny more glowy more beautiful after you've exfoliated your skin it's the same with your the skin on your body you know what i mean like exfoliate the skin on your body and once you put that moisture on that body cream it's gonna lock onto your skin like glue okay and then that fragrance is going to lock on to that and it's not going to go anywhere that is how you're going to get the best performance from your fragrances okay so i've rambled enough chow so the first fragrance on the list is by frederick mall and this is portrait of a lady it's a very spicy fragrance and you either love it or hate it i absolutely love it because the vibe that it gives me it just gives me a rich elevated sophisticated like, I just have all this money. I'm so affluent. I'm just like everything. Like, that's the vibe that this fragrance gives me. And that's why I wear it. And I love how I feel when I wear it. So let me tell you some of the notes. There's Turkish rose. There's raspberry, black currant, cinnamon, clove, patchouli, sandalwood, incense, and broxen, benzoin, and white musk. Now, there is rose in this fragrance. But let me tell you something. The rose is just surrounded by a bunch of spices. It's a very spicy fragrance. And like I said, it's not for everybody. It's not a safe blind buy. But this last... Are y'all hearing me? This last forever on your skin this does not go anywhere <laughs> this does not go anywhere and all my girls that have portrait of a lady y'all know this is a beast you do not i repeat you do not have to overspray this fragrance guys this is like a uh, six to seven sprays right here like seriously like you don't even need that much this is not 
a fragrance that you have to overspray. That is how great this fragrance is. It's very expensive, but I feel like it's worth the money. It's definitely worth the money. And I also have the body cream. I have the body, um, what is it called? Shea butter, the body butter. And layer together with this, guys, I literally just need two sprays of this because I don't even have to wear the fragrance because the body cream is so fragrant and it's so long lasting. Like I said, it's more like a shea butter, like a thick shea butter, not like a cream, but it lasts forever on my skin, guys. And topped off with this, this is like 12 hours. Like the fragrances that's on the list today, I'm talking about 10, 12 hour action. Like on me, like seriously, I have no reason to lie. I'm not exaggerating. It is what it is. I don't have to decant. I don't even have a decant of this. And you guys know I decant almost everything. But this one right here, I do not have a decant of this because this is a beast. And this is very, 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 very long lasting. So Frederick Malls, Portrait of a Lady. Next on the list, we have... The only designer fragrance is on this list. I'm sorry. I wanted to give you like 10 hours and better. I do have some long lasting designer fragrances, but they're giving me like six, seven hours, eight hours, you know, but this is 10 plus. This doesn't go anywhere either. This is after you take a shower, it's gone. This right here, even the original, the original C, I'm not even going to lie to you. The original C has a great performance as well, but I've just been crushing... <laughs> Y'all, I've been crushing so hard on the C Intense. I love this fragrance so much. And it's long lasting. Like seriously, this is a gem. This is a hidden gem. And I really don't want to talk about it too much because I don't want everybody knowing about it. But listen, it smells so good. It lasts so long on your skin. It's beautiful. Let me tell you some of the notes. Opens up with black currant syrup. There's Turkish rose. There's Davana. There's Benzoin and patchouli. Hear me when I tell you this lasts forever. The sillage, the scent trail, you'll just continuously smell it throughout the day. Like even, like you'll probably be gone for 12 hours and then all of a sudden, like if you spray it on your clothes, it, this is not going anywhere. You spray this on your clothes, you're gonna be smelling this until you wash your clothes. This is so long lasting. It's so beautiful, it's sweet, it's sexy, it's everything. See, intense. Next up on the list, we have Delina Exclusive. Guys, I don't know what it is that Parfum Zamarli puts in their fragrances. That Parfum Zamarli DNA, when I tell you I'm just obsessed with it, it's like a creamy thing. Like when you smell it, it has some type of creamy, creamsicle type of vibe that I just cannot get enough of. It's in Oriana, it's in Cassili, it's in all of the fragrances. All of the feminine fragrances in Parfum Zamarli, it just has this thing that I am obsessed with. I love it. And Delina Exclusive, first of all, Delina is a very long lasting fragrance as well. But I wanted to put the exclusive on the list because I feel like, I don't know, like I love Delina, but it's either like people love Delina or hate Delina. I feel like more people love the exclusive because it doesn't have that sharp tart note in the opening. But this is everything and so long lasting compliments. If you want compliments, galore this is a beautiful fragrance for you to wear guys you will definitely get attention wearing this this is a date night fragrance first date second date anniversary like this is everything this is such an amazing intoxicating scent i'm just gaga over this like this is everything guys and it lasts very long on your skin definitely a long lasting fragrance that you want in your collection delina exclusive and this fragrance is sold on soavantgarde.com. I'm not sure if it's in stock, but they do carry Delina. They do carry Parfum Zumarli fragrances. So they have Delina. They have um, Delina La Rose. If this is in stock, then you can purchase this with my 20% discount code, The Great 20 and save 20% off of this expensive AF fragrance. But I'm telling you, it's worth every penny. Like, it's definitely worth it. This is a beautiful one. Delina Exclusive by Parfum Zumarli. Next up by Tiziana Terenzi, we have Tibet. Now, I didn't know that there were people in this world that didn't like this fragrance. I didn't know that anybody could not like this fragrance, but I do have a few subscribers that, um, yeah, this is not a fragrance for them. But let me tell you something, guys, this was my first Tiziana Terenzi fragrance. I paid for this with my own coins. Um, it was a blind buy because I just saw the notes and was just like, wow, I need this fragrance. And then when I smelled it, it was even more than I thought it was gonna be. Like, I just thought it was gonna be a super sweet, fruity fragrance. It is fruity and it is sweet, but it has something, like it has that musky, ambery dry down that is 
everything. And it's in a lot of the Tiziana Terenzi fragrances. So I'm not sure if you're gonna like it, but this is also sold on soulavantgarde.com. And you can use my discount code, the great 20 and save 20%. This is everything, okay? This is rich vibes. This is affluent vibes. This is you're gonna get compliments. This is you're standing out. No one in your circle is gonna smell like you when you're wearing a fragrance like this. Trust me, okay? It opens up with bergamot, there's green notes, there's coconut, there's peach, there's warm sand accord, <laughs> there's floral notes, there's vanilla, musk, cotton candy, there's woody notes, and there's amber. Like I said, that ambery dry down is definitely prominent in this fragrance. So when you hear notes like coconut and peach and vanilla and warm sand, don't think about it as like a regular fruity floral fragrance that you've smelled because it's totally not like that, okay? That ambery dry down just gives it a little something. Well, not a little. It gives it a lot of something that's very different and very unique and you either love it or you hate it. You either understand it or you don't. You know what I mean? It's one of those fragrances, guys. Not for everybody, not a safe flying by, but you want a long lasting fragrance. You want a fragrance that everybody's gonna smell on you. It's this. Tibet by Tiziana Terenzi. Next on the list is Ani by Nishane. Guys, this is a beautiful vanilla fragrance. It's a spicy vanilla fragrance. Guys, it has a ginger note in it. <sighs> I mean, this right here makes you just want to get dressed up. This is, I'm killing everybody at the restaurant tonight with my scent. Nobody in the building is smelling better than me. That's this one right here. What? Who smell better than you when you wear this? Nobody. Let me tell you something. This fragrance gets so many compliments. This fragrance is long lasting. This fragrance is beast mode. It's a unisex scent. Some people say it leans masculine. I feel like it's dead in the middle. Um, I don't get masculine vibes on me. I just get sexy. Like this is sexy, okay? material girl like this is beyond a material girl okay the material girl done became a woman and she is like on oprah status that's this kind of fragrance right here like it smells like money it smells sexy you wear this fragrance and people are going to be intrigued by you people are going to want to get to know you because that's what the scent of this fragrance does you smell this and you want to know what is this person about where is this person from Guys, this fragrance is everything, okay? You can also purchase this fragrance from soavantgarde.com using my discount code, thegreat20, and save 20%. Someone commented on one of my older videos that they hated Nishane name and they feel like it was modeled or copied off of MFK. Now, I just responded with ouch because they really went in, like they were like, they hate this fragrance and all this other type of stuff. And I really couldn't say anything because like, what do you say to that? But honestly, guys, how could you, I mean, the fragrances aren't even similar. They're not dupes of MFK fragrances. They were like, the bottles look the same <laughs> and they have a horse in the back. I mean, honestly, like, I don't get that. And to be completely honest, I love MFK, okay? Everyone knows that I love Francis Kirk John. He's responsible for some of my favorite fragrances from back in the day, from before he even had a Baccarat Rouge 540, okay? He's been doing designer fragrances that I love still today so him as a perfumer i absolutely love so i love his brand as well but let me be honest with you let me be 100 with you the packaging of nishane fragrances to me the quality is much better than mfk fragrances let's just start there we're gonna get to the juice we're gonna get to the juice in a minute but first let's talk about the packaging the bottle of this is a super thick heavy glass this right here, it's not a stick. It is like stuck onto it, but it's a very thick raised sticker that's like brushed satin, like not not satin, like a brushed type of sweat. It's a brushed something. It's very thick, like I said. Um, the quality of this, if you have this fragrance, if you have any niche on any fragrances, you already know. The quality of this is on another level. The cap. Do you see the detailing in this cap? The cap is super heavy, first of all, okay? The cap is very, very heavy. And look at the detailing in the cap. I mean, I don't see how someone can say that this they're trying to be like MFK. If they are, they completely crushed MFK when it came to packaging, okay? <laughs> crushed. In this situation right here, I'm telling you guys, the bottles are better to me. The packaging of Nishane Fragrances are better than MFK. Now let's talk about the juice. 
These fragrances are X straight day parfums. They're not EDPs, okay? So you're getting a higher perfume oil concentration with these fragrances. This retails for, I wanna say three something for this size of in this fragrance of this X straight. The uh, Baccarat Rouge 540 X straight, it retails for $450 because it's an x straight so you're getting more for your money <laughs> with this fragrance right here now let's talk about the juice inside this smells like nothing i've ever smelled before nothing okay we already know baccarat rouge is the the end all be all for some people when it comes to fragrances i absolutely love that i will always have it in my collection but it's not the end all be all now when you talk about gentle fluidity gold that fragrance has a very similar scent profile to Alchemia from Royal Crown, which that fragrance came out like in 2000, way before, way, way, way before Gentle Fluidity Gold. It has a similar scent profile to Delox by Tiziana Terenzi. It has a similar scent profile to Roses Musk by Montal, which also came out way before Gentle Fluidity Gold. So when you wanna talk about quality, when you wanna talk about the juice inside of these fragrances, I don't think that Nishane was trying to copy MFK at all because if they did, they did it better, okay? I'm sorry, it is what it is. Let's give the props to where the props is due also because Nishane is no slouch and they are standing up there with MFK, in my opinion. And this is a very long lasting fragrance and I've rambled enough, Ani by Nishane. Next on the list is Sintra by Memo. Guys, this has a similar scent profile to Love Don't Be Shy by Killian, but this has pedigree in the opening, so it has a green, fresh opening. And you guys know I'm not a fan of green scents, but for some reason, in this one right here, it is addictive and it is intoxicating, and I cannot get enough of this fragrance. This fragrance is everything. If you love orange blossom, if you love sweet marshmallows, this is the fragrance for you if you can find it because it's always sold out. But this is so long lasting. When I tell you the quality of Memo Fragrances, another one that has amazing quality and the juice inside, so beautiful. Like I said, it is very similar to Oriana, Love Don't Be Shy. You know, it has that same kind of scent profile type of vibe going on, but it is everything. It's long lasting, it's powerful, it's super strong, it's a beast. It has, like I said, that green note in the opening. Let me tell you, it opens up with Neroli and Pettigrain. Um, There's bergamot, there's jasmine, there's milk, there's rose, there's cinnamon, there's marshmallows, Madagascar vanilla, there's caramel, there's musk and cedar. I can't get enough. Super long lasting, beautiful, beautiful fragrance. And if you can find it, grab it because it's always out of stock because it's just that dope of a fragrance. Sintra by Memo. Next on the list, we have Sushi Imperial by Boad1920. Guys, this is my plastic Cabbage Patch doll head. <laughs> That's what this smells like. Like apple pie, kind of like rubbery, kind of synthetic-y, but in the best way possible. I'm just trying to describe the scent to you, but it's just everything. It smells like a doll face, like a plastic doll face, like very synthetic doll face but like spicy, cinnamony, almost like angel share, but less harsh with no booze. This has bergamot, mandarin, lemon, pepper, nutmeg, rose, cinnamon, sandalwood, tonka bean, and vanilla. Guys, I love this fragrance. This right here is a beast. This lasts so long. This is every thing, okay? I told you guys before I had to hide it because I was literally wearing it so much over the summer when I got it. I was just spraying it all the time because it smells so good and it's so intoxicating. This is date night, date day. The packaging isn't, you know, like all that cute, you know, whatever, but it's very heavy. It's very good packaging, but I'm just saying it's not like pretty like feminine packaging. And this is very, very, very long lasting. Buon 1920 Sushi Imperial. Next up, we have Initial Side Effects. This is a fragrance that has tobacco. This has rum and cinnamon. Now, typically, like these notes would, to me, lean masculine, but this is the most unisex, like when I tell you it's straight up down the middle fragrance, it's so super sexy. It's a unisex scent, like I can smell it on a man, like I can see Bay wearing this, but I could also like slay in it. This is mine, okay, let's, let's start there. This is mine, all mine, 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 mine beautiful guys let me tell you this is so pretty it's not like a super loud beast mode fragrance but it lasts 
forever. It smells so comforting, so chic, so sexy, so seductive, but it's still wearable. Like you can wear this every day if you wanted to wear it every day. If you wanted to wear it on a date night, you could wear it on a date night. Initio fragrances have great quality. I have no performance issues with my Initio fragrances on a, you know, a brand on as a whole. They make great quality fragrances. Um, I absolutely love it and it's very, very, very long lasting. So if you like tobacco, vanilla, rum, cinnamon, it's warm, spicy, it's seductive, it's cozy. It's a perfect fall, winter type fragrance. You can wear it in the house, you can wear it out. Like I said, date, work, whatever. This is a fragrance that you wanna get. It's also a fragrance that you can overspray. It's not, let me say, it's not like a, a soft fragrance, but it's not like a super loud beast but it lasts forever. Like it's a beast in performance, meaning like it just lasts forever, like ever and ever and ever. Forever, ever, forever, ever. <laughs> That's what this fragrance is, guys. Side effects by Initio. Next up by Fragrance Dubois, we have New York Fifth Avenue. Guys, this fragrance smells very similar to, um, what is that fragrance from MFK that y'all always telling me to get? Uh, what is up? I'm just drawing a blank right now. Um, Oud Satin Mood, okay? Oud Satin Mood. I love the scent of Oud Satin Mood. And I'm thinking I may get the really small, like, 30 mil bottle. I haven't decided yet. I'm going to smell it again. To me, on me, it smells... I feel like it leans masculine on me, right? This fragrance smells like Oud Satin Mood, but it doesn't lean masculine on me. I feel like still like a sexy woman feminine woman but just like a feminine strong alpha woman like it's those type of vibes let me tell you the notes there's rose bergamot caramel there's violet cypriol uh cashmere wood guyac wood musk and vanilla and thank god for that caramel and that vanilla in this fragrance because it sweetens it up a little bit it smells rich it lasts really long it doesn't roar it's not a loud beast but you will definitely smell it you can overspray this fragrance and it lasts forever like i said it's very rich very special occasion very fancy you're putting it on or you want to feel fancy i mean you might want to wear this at home because omarion is out here performing so you may want to wear this in the house and feel fancy and do a nice dinner for you and your husband or you and your bae and you put this fragrance on and this is setting the mood honey <laughs> this is definitely setting the mood for the night new york fifth avenue by fragrance dubois the last fragrance that we're going to talk about today has stolen my heart in the 2021. A lot of fragrances stole my heart in 2021 because Sushi Imperial stole my heart in 21. Child, everything stole my heart in 2021. But Tabac Rose was the most recent. This has chocolate in it, guys. And chocolate on me can go real, real right or real, real wrong. <laughs> okay, I'm not a fan of chocolate in the fragrances like it just does not work on me maybe because i'm chocolate so the chocolate on the chocolate is just too much chocolate this has pink pepper there's plum there's lemon turkish rose there's cinnamon there's chocolate tobacco patchouli and labdana let me tell you this is a gourmand fragrance that you want to wear when you want to smell like a snack a snack a meal the whole you want to smell like the whole entire entree like this is it right here this smells so good like, honestly, guys, I don't hear enough people talking about this. If y'all can get a sample of Tobac Rose by BDK, get you a sample of BDK Tobac Rose and tell me if I'm not tripping. Super long lasting, okay? Beast. A lot of the other BDK fragrances in my collection, I tell you guys all the time, they don't do super beast mode fragrances except for this one. This is a beast, okay? It's a beautiful, beautiful beast. It's unisex. In my opinion, it leans feminine. Well, maybe it's just like straight down the middle. But I have heard from one of my subscribers that she tried it and she wanted to love it, but she felt like it leaned masculine on her. So just keep that in mind. I don't think it's a safe flying by, but you can order samples from soavantgarde.com and save 20% on the fragrance. Um, I don't think you should blind buy it. I don't think you should blind buy um, any of the fragrances on today's list, except maybe for the C, Armani C Intense. I don't see someone not liking that. But any of the other fragrances, get samples, try them out, and see how, you know, you like how they smell because the performance is amazing. So don't keep it in the bathroom. Don't keep it in uh, direct sunlight or like a lot of light period. Uh, keep the caps on and store them in a cool, dry place. 
make sure your skin is exfoliated and moisturized and it should last long on your skin as well bdk tobacco rose okay guys so we've come to the end of the video leave me some comments and let me know what are some of your long lasting fragrances in your collection let's talk about it like we always do remember to stay safe be great stay great and always strive for greatness AI the Great signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.